Good morning, Aries. This is Renee, and welcome to your reading. This reading will be for January 1st through the 15th. We're going to pull some oracle cards first, and then we'll get into the tarot. Okay, so completion. All right, Aries, you have completion, so I feel like you know, you're you're in the process of completing something at the moment and you have impartiality. So you may have some decisions you need to make before whatever you're doing is complete. Before your goal is accomplished, there may be important decisions that you need to make. Okay, let's see what else we have for Aries. Birds of a feather. So you may be spending time with friends. Definitely spending time with friends and endless possibilities. So Aries, whatever you're working on, I feel like you are... I feel like you have several options that you'll be taking in whatever this is. Okay, let's get some tarot for Aries. What's going on for Aries? January 1st through the 15th. Spirit, give me a message for Aries for January 1st through the 15th. Yes. Big changes coming up for you, Aries. Let's see what else we have. The King of Cups. So if it is new love that you want, I feel like it's a possibility. The Six of Cups. This may be someone from your past returning. And the Magician. Okay. What else do we have for Aries? The Knight of Cups. Okay. And the Sun. We have the Ten of Wands. The Nine of Swords. The Page of Wands and the Justice card. Okay, Aries. At the bottom you have the Seven of Wands. So in your overall energy for January, I feel like you are you're very close to a completion in um, January very close to a completion. I feel like there's still decisions that you must make in order to complete whatever it is that you're trying to complete. But I feel like you're very close. And you have the Ten of Wands as well. So I feel like within the second week of January, I feel like you're going to be completing whatever it is that you're working on. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're doing it in a joyful manner. I feel like, you know, you're by completing this, it kind of leaves you with some sort of regrets that it's over, um, that you've completed it. But I feel like you're doing so much. I just one moment, I dropped a bunch of cards. Okay. Okay, Aries. So... The first week in January, I feel like, you know, the ball's rolling in your direction. I feel like you are anticipating big changes. I feel like maybe you're making plans to make the changes for the new year. Maybe you have some resolutions that you want to achieve for the new year. Um, but if it's love, the reading is very good for love. You have... The King of Cups. You also have the Six of Cups. 
Um, so I feel like it may be someone new that's coming in, but I really feel like it's someone from your past, someone that you already have, um, someone who has already been in your life. This is someone that you're familiar with that's coming back, maybe. Um, but I do feel like with the magician and the knight of cups, I feel like you know, you're creating something new. You're working on this new image of yourself. I feel like you're, you're, you're using all of your resources wisely. And because you're doing so, I feel like, you know, you're going to have people noticing you. You may also have some sort of offer. This may be love. This may be something that you're very passionate about. Um, it doesn't have to be about love. It could be about anything that you're passionate about. You may receive an offer for. Um, you may receive news of some kind of offer that you initiated. That could be a job proposal. Um, that could be a pro proposal from a person, actually. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're going into the second week. You're going into the second week very joyful, very happy. You're really positive going into the second week. So I feel like whatever progress you made in the first week, you're bringing that down to your second week in January. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like you've completed something that you had thought maybe wasn't possible to do so so quickly um and i feel like it's kind of leaving you feeling like you know you're sorry that it's over you're sorry that you know it was completed so fast um maybe you're working on something and you thought it would take more time but i i feel like you are just regretful that the process has ended. Maybe you enjoyed this process so much that now you're kind of sad that it's over. But I feel like whatever you were working on is going to bring you a lot of good news. And this could be in work or this could be some, you know, something else. But I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of new good news. This is news of a new beginning in something and i feel like with the justice card it is it will be something that you have to make some very strong choices and these choices can be life-changing so very interesting aries very interesting let's get let's see Let's get a little clarification on these. <clears throat> Spirit, may I have an outcome for Aries? May I have some outcome cards? What will be the outcome for Aries the first week and the second week in January? Definitely. The King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely you have something new starting. This could be something new that is kind of sparking your thought process. Uh, this could, could also be, like I said, with this love interest um, being very well for you. This could also be a new fire igniting within you, um, a new passion about love but this could be work as well um wands can be about work so you could be igniting a new passion for something that could bring you a lot of good offers a new beginning in your money your finance um the pinnacles can also be your family your good health but i'm really feeling like this is going to bring you more abundance I feel like whatever fire has been ignited, whatever spark you've created within the ideas, um, I feel like you're running with those ideas and you're going to create some kind of new beginning that is going to make you more prosperous. Definitely. 
What else do we have for Aries? Yeah, you have the chariot. So definitely, you're moving in the right direction. I feel like the universe is saying to you that, you know, you're trusting where the universe is leading you. So this is definitely going to be life-changing, whatever this is. Um, it may be that you're moving to a new destination because of this process that you have went through. Um, for a few of you, a very few of you, I feel like you're car shopping. I feel like you're buying a new car. You've come into some new income and now you want to upgrade. Now that's for a very few. I don't feel like that's going to resonate with everybody. But I feel like that will resonate with a few. Okay, and justice again. Look at this. So yes, yeah, some kind of decisions that you need to make are definitely going to be life changing. It's definitely leading you into your divine purpose. I feel like this is your truth coming out. This is all going to make sense when it, it transpires. But I feel like whatever you're doing, you're doing it very well. I feel like this is your karmic energy just bursting with this positivity. You're bursting with this positive energy. I feel like you may be meditating. You may be doing other things to increase your spirituality. But um, it's bringing you endless possibilities. It's definitely bringing you endless possibilities. And these possibilities are going to transpire. And you are going to get exactly what you deserve. Your karmic reward is coming. And that's very interesting that the justice is on top of the justice. So this is spirit saying to you, I really mean this. You need to listen to this information because this is going to be life changing for you. And yes, you do have the lovers on the bottom. So as I said, this is a very good reading for love as well. Um, so Aries. Wow. It looks like you're going to be starting off the new year with a bang. <laughs> Definitely with a bang. Okay, let's get some Moonology cards. Let's see what Moonology has to say for Aries. What do you need to release? Yeah, what do you need to release, Aries, in order to stay in your positive mode? Um... Of course, we need to release any negative energy that's surrounding us at any time. But try to stay in that positive mode. That's where that's where you're going to be um, manifesting the most out of this situation is by staying in your positivity. Speak kind words to yourself. Say nice things to yourself and really mean it. Uh, don't say any negative words. Keep your negative thoughts to a minimum. Your dreams need a practical plan. So yeah, Spirit is letting you know that this is the time to plan out your year. You may even want to plan out your next five years or your next ten years. But make a practical plan on where you want to be. Where do you see yourself at? This could be in love or career. So... I mean, make a list. Let the universe know where you want to be right now, where you want to be in a month, where you want to be in the next five years. And just, you know, stick with that plan. Okay, and yes, Aries, you are good enough for any plans that you make. You are a wonderful soul. Okay, let's get some manifestation cards. Let's see what Aries is manifesting. What is manifesting for Aries? January 1st through the 15th. What is manifesting? Okay, we have new moon in Gemini. Think it through. 
So yeah, whatever plans that you're making, you know, make specific plans. Be as specific as possible. Let the universe know exactly where you want to be, exactly what you want, how you want your life to look, how you want the person you are with to look. Um, be as specific as possible. And then, first quarter moon in Cancer, push through any insecurities. I don't see any insecure emotions in this reading at all. But if you do have any insecurities, push through those. Because I feel like, you know, Aries the warrior, you're strong enough to get through whatever. And full moon in Scorpio, breathe through the tension. Yes. So I feel like this is like... How to get through any challenges. That's what you're manifesting. I feel like you're manifesting um, how to get through any tough times. At the bottom, we have New Moon and Scorpio. Go deeper. So, yeah, I mean, this year, I recall, has been kind of rough in some spots, Aries. So I feel like maybe you have a little bit of overflow from 2022, but your future looks very bright. Your future is just booming. It's blossoming with, with progression and abundance and, you know, moving a step further. You've completed some sort of goal that you wanted to complete, which is awesome. So I feel like you're definitely on the right track. Um, Aries. Okay, we'll get one more card from the universe. Let's see what the universe has to say for Aries. Okay, true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So yeah, know what triggers you, Aries. And when you feel those triggers coming on, take a moment to breathe through your tension. Take a moment to meditate, to kind of step away from the situation, think it through, and then just move forward. Release any negative energy that you have about the situation and move through the situation with a positive mindset. And you will get through any challenge that you go through. At the bottom, we have my capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I'm lost. Yes, Aries. Okay, Aries, this is a beautiful reading, and I feel like you are progressing so strongly. Okay, so if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. In the comment section, if you made it this far, type claim it. Claim this reading for your own. Claim this energy. Okay, and Aries, many blessings to you. Love and light.